Right guys, we're starting off the delts workout with rear delts. The common exercise uh, mistake I see people do with this is retraction of the shoulder blades. The issue with that is if you're consciously thinking of retracting at the shoulder blades, you're not getting a shortening of the rear delts. So the setup for this exercise is you're gonna slightly protract forward. There's gonna be no movement of the scapula. We've got the rear delts here. What I'm gonna get Ryan to do, we're actually gonna just lift the bench seat up a little bit. Lift up, there we go. Good, now we got that position there. Now from here, he's gonna think about shortening these muscles and in doing so, all he's gonna do is reach away. And when we get to this position here, he's gonna hold that. We've got no retraction at the shoulder blades. We've got a full shortening of the rear delts. As he reaches forward, we get a full stretch. It's a very simple exercise to execute. And then he just shortens the rear delts. That position is holding absolutely perfect there. He's got the rear delts short. Then we get it in a loaded position. And then we're gonna shorten it again and get it in a contracted position. Minimizing any shoulder elevation and getting a maximal contraction to do the rear delts. Great exercise for a pump. Let's put him through a work set. So you stay absolutely locked in, driving forward into the pad, getting the delts as fully short as you can. No shrugging movement at all. Squeeze. Good, and they go again. Bring them, bring them together. Good. Now, next three or four, we're gonna try and reach as far wide as you can get. Try and reach out the window. Hold the contraction, come on. Go again forward. Come on. Hold the contraction. Good. Come on. Again. Great job, good. Now, keep going. Hold. Good, again, let's go. Good, again, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Contraction, good, again. Reach wide. Good job. Right guys, the next exercise is the dumbbell shoulder press. Now, a lot of people when they're doing the press come far too low and it causes a lot of rotational problems around the shoulder. So what we want to do is keep the dumbbells in line with the ears, dumbbells above the elbows. And also, now we've got a fully loaded deltoid, as we come up to the top, we're looking to get maximal shortening of the delts. Doesn't mean, therefore, that you need to come all the way to the middle because the tension is lost. So he's gonna come down and wide. At this point here, he's driving back into the pad, tension's on the biceps, uh, the deltoids, and then he's gonna drive the biceps in towards the midline. Let's put him through a work set. Good, now just try and drive the biceps in a little bit more. There we go, good. Squeezing in here, that's it. Focus on the delts, push back into the pad. Back into the pad, come on. Come on, work this set. There we go, come on. Good, all times, driving back into the pad. Take it wider, get a big stretch. That's it. Big load at the bottom, big load. Awesome, down. Pause at the bottom, get the load. Now drive back into the pad. Come on, let's go, big reps. Come on, let's go. Again, come on. Drive in. There we go, good job. Right guys, we're gonna finish the delts workout off by hitting the uh, lateral portion of the delts in this length and range. And the benefit of having the cables is that it keeps tension on right the way at the bottom where you wouldn't actually get it with dumbbells. So what we'll have here, as you can see, the tension's coming across the body, which means in this bottom position, there is tension right there. Now, we've already worked the lateral delts in the short position with the standing lateral raises. Now we're gonna put a slight bit of rotation on so that we actually hit the fibers, but we're only gonna come up halfway. The way that the cables are set up means that the tension is on from the, from the get-go right through to the middle part of the exercise. So he's able, as you can see, to keep tension on at all times. What we're not looking for him to do is to create any extension because then if he rotates, it will place tension on the anterior delts. So we keep him in this forward, slightly forward position and then everything is placed on the lateral heads throughout the exercise. Let's put him through a work set. Now bring them in to touch me, in to touch me. Hold that there and then the tension's on fully, good. We've got no shrugging going on, we've just got abduction of the shoulder joint all the way to the bottom hold that there and just come to this range here there we just keep that on all the way in right come on come on the back end of the delt session let's go come on nice and short and then we're up good bring them narrow come on in we go hold that there and then bring it up again come on all the way into the middle make sure they get fully lengthened a bit more a bit more good there we go good right the way in come on get them long get them long there they're there, not so high. Just get this load 
And then out, good. Keep that rotation, keep that rotation. Good, go again, come on, come on. Again. Good job. Right guys, tagging on triceps to the end of the delts workout allows you to get plenty of frequency in with the triceps each week. Now an exercise most of you won't have seen, very easy uh, cues and teaching points for you to be able to pick it up. The problem we find a lot when you do any form of rope or cable work, okay, is that you get a lot of rotation at the shoulder joint. Too much rotation at the shoulder, shoulder joint minimizes tricep recruitment. So, by using a cable crossover variation, what we can do is lock down the scapula. This suits the function uh, of the triceps or the elbow joint, so that you're able to be able to get a full contraction of the triceps through the entirety. So what, we got, what we've got is thoracic extended, lower traps locked on, so we've got the stability around the shoulder joints. And what Ryan's gonna do is literally just bend at the elbow joint. There, now this is the position we wanna be in. Now, as he extends the elbow joints, we're also gonna get him to try and squeeze his back muscles together, which gets a lot more of a contraction in that long head of the triceps. So with this exercise, we're looking from this mid to fully shortened range. Notice how his abs are tight, his body is still, and all he's doing is bending from the elbow joint. Let's put him through a set. Now the key with this exercise is actually in the peak contraction and actually maintaining tension on your triceps even when you're coming into the middle. Here we go. Elbows are staying locked in. He's getting a massive squeeze on the triceps in the extended position. And squeeze. Just bend the elbow joints, keep them in here. Good, and push straighten down. Good job. Shoulder raise together. Awesome. Come on, work. And squeeze down. Good, drop this shoulder. Come on, right from the triceps. Come on, work. Into here, and now we straighten down. No shrug, let's go. Come on, let's work. Bring them in. From there, that's it. Now bring them into here. Everything stays in the triceps. Squeeze right back. Come on, let's go. Good, now get that peak contraction. Ready? Hold there, hold. Right guys, we're gonna finish triceps off with the lying dumbbell triceps extension. Now a lot of people avoid this exercise because they feel it in their elbows. We're gonna show you a couple little tricks as to how to avoid that. The number one reason why you're feeling your elbow joints is because you protract the shoulders, so you literally lift up at the shoulders. So this exercise is another reason why you should really get, get your lower traps strong. So you're gonna retract your shoulder blades down into the bench. Lock as hard as you can into the bench. And then at that point, we're gonna be working, especially the long heads in this exercise, you need to get the rotation so that we can actually have a straight flexion of the elbow joint down towards the head. Now at this position here, what we're gonna actually look at doing, the dumbbells here, bring the elbows in, and we're gonna come down to the bottom and fully load the triceps up, keeping the shoulder blades locked down into the bench all times. Now at this position here, you wanna bring the elbows slightly back and therefore we can fully load the triceps up and then you're gonna see Ryan extend up, holding on to the triceps at all times. You're gonna keep his shoulder blades locked down, maximizing the amount of tension that's actually gonna go into his triceps through the full exercise. So we're gonna go all the way down, elbows slightly in, so it's gonna rotate at the shoulder joint a bit, keeping everything solid into the bench, extending up, doesn't need to lock out with this exercise because we're looking at getting the, um, the long head of the triceps worked, especially from this extended position. And all the way down. We're gonna work up to about this range here, good. Keeping tension on the triceps at all times. Come on, work now, come on. Really work hard, really work hard. Keep everything into the triceps, work hard, come on. Good, driving the shoulder base flat down, come on, let's go. Let's go, there we go, good, and again. Keep working, come on, and again. Up. Good, keep them in, keep it in the triceps, come on. Again. Good, again, as I said, there's no reason, no need to extend fully. We're gonna get this fully loaded portion. Mid range is absolutely fine. Bring the elbows slightly in towards the midline, get more load. And again, come on. Right, all the way down. Up, boy. good job.